Hey folks, Steve here. How you doing? Recently I had released a video that I will retitle, but originally it was called something about sacrificial strips. But really, other than saying I use them, I went on and talked about a few other things that were relevant to whatever I was doing that day, but really weren't specifically about sacrificial strips. It was about storage in the trailer. So really I just want to talk about sacrificial strips. So with sacrificial strips, since I built this Paul workbench, I have been using sacrificial strips the whole time. And if you were to take a look at the entire surface of this bench, what you would find is there are no kerf marks. And I'm pretty sure there are no actual drill marks either for me drilling down through something and actually hitting the drill or hitting the bench top. So this bench top is really as intact as it was when I finished it and had not used it yet. What I will say though is that originally not thinking about sacrificial strips, I designed the top, well I designed it. When I installed the top, I installed it with the idea that I would eventually have to take it off and then replace it. But really, you don't have to do that. And so I could have glued the top down, but I didn't. I actually had started to glue the top down and then realized, well, wait, I, what if I want to take the top off? I know glue will hold better than anything else. So I, I actually removed all the glue after I wiped it off with a wet rag or something. And then I simply just screwed the whole surface down. I, did, I could have glued it down because sacrificial strips will save this tabletop every single time. So much so that I use this when I just use a set of saw horses, like what, but what are behind me, and I put the uh, two by four supports and then lay a sheet of plywood on top of that or something, and then I use these if it's just a makeshift table. Matter of fact, if I do the saw horses with the two by four supports, I mean literally the very inexpensive saw horses, the $20 a pair saw horses at Home Depot or Lowe's, between the two two by fours, I'll actually take these and I will screw them down and then I will have a table anyway that's actually fairly firm and it's made of sacrificial strips. Whoops. And I know that if I'm using the same sacrificial strips, I already have screw holes that are lined up for the system that I use. And it was not intentional that way, it just turned out. So sacrificial strips really save the table. And I can use them for a lot of things like saw hole guides when I need to change the size of a uh, hole saw, saw hole. And this one got used as a list at one point. These are pretty chewed up. I have been using these for a while now. These are not the original. They are just the next ones. I have two long sacrificial strips that I made during that video and these uh, get stored on the trailer. I haven't used them yet because I forget they're there, but they are as long as the bench as opposed to the width of the bench. So they would be a little more convenient, but I do need a third one because otherwise, you know, material could sag in the middle and I could potentially cut my bench without using something like this. So I would need a third long sacrificial strip. Otherwise, I use these crossways and I have five or six of them that will do the job for me. So sacrificial strips are saving my bench. They save plywood that I use for a makeshift table. They save two by fours that are, I am using to actually create a makeshift table using only my sacrificial strips. And I can't say enough about them. I did not start out in life thinking about sacrificial strips. I was turned on to them by people like you out there in YouTube land that are doing a lot of great things with construction, building, handyman. And I do appreciate all those uh, ideas. And so I just would like to contribute my ideas back or reinforce those ideas that you already have. So thank you very much. Please like and please subscribe and please share this video so I can grow my subscriber base and just reach more people and show them what kind of goofball I really am. Hey, thank you very much. You have a good one.